if you don't like my body for being 3,000 pounds, it's because of the patriarchy. No, it's because nobody likes that. That's disgusting. It's unhealthy. And nobody should right. want to date that. Like, right. women, I don't want to look right. at it. Men don't want to look at it. And right. I'm straight. Right. I mean, I just think it's so ironic that people actually take this person seriously. But it is Why? what it is. And they do. Why? Number one, I think they like her because she gives them permission to feel better about themselves for absolutely no reason. Like she I feel better about myself because I'm able to do what I do. Not for no reason. It's an accomplishment. When you're able to, to combat something, and in, 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 I'm not going to say overcome it because I don't think it ever ends. But when you're able to, to, to have an addiction and face it head on and that you can, stay, you can stay abstinent from that addiction, that's an accomplishment. It's not for no reason. All right? Not at all. He's literally saying that if you're fat, you should feel like shit. Not that you should feel like shit, but that you should do something about it. But if you're an alcoholic, you should feel like shit. No, but you should do something about it. If you're a heroin addict, you should feel like shit. No, but you should do something about it. Right? That's what she's saying. I don't think she's saying that. What? She's, she's not even fat. Who, Candace? This one. Oh, no. The well, hell is she arguing about? Well, she may have been fat at one time. Or she may, she may be an addict of some sort, you know? Or she's just somebody who hates Candace Owens, which, you know, okay, I get that, you know, different point of view. She's got fat really friends. Yeah. And fat family members, probably. Yeah, or or she used to be fat. That's a possibility. But too. then why lose the weight? I don't know. Maybe maybe we just can't see the whole picture here. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> she blows up <laughs> underneath the chest. <laughs> like Willy Wonka, the chocolate factory with the girl with the blueberries. <laughs> she's, she's like a half a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay really funny that for a woman who built her entire platform off all what? lives oh she matter, doesn't like Candace everybody's Holmes, that's equal it. god loves everyone uh -huh. she makes a statement like this and it's like well all lives yeah. matter unless you're you have fat a cat? And for she doesn't say that fat people so don't matter educated in the way of the world anyway. she also fails to understand right. that health is actually a privilege like she's making health is a privilege how is health a privilege is this is this going back to that uh, uh, uh that diets are racist <laughs> really you know i i grew up watching jerry rice play football he looked pretty fit to me i think he's black too you know like that's so ridiculous to me what th this is this is this is white privilege right here i gotta tell you that right here you you, you want to get controversial this is white privilege is thinking that black people are too stupid to know how to lose weight, that black people are too stupid to know about nutrition, that they're just they're just not capable of 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 stopping. Right? What, what are you trying to say, honey? That black people just like watermelon and fried chicken? Like, what the hell is this woman saying? All lives are equal, and and, 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 and but but it's racist. The the, the, the the diet is racist. Like that to me, it's so condescending. Do you really believe that? They don't, they don't have access to things that we have access to. What? I, I don't understand that. What? What? Nobody could go to a Whole Foods if you live in, if you live in a city? We're sorry. That's only for white people. I, I know a lot of fit black people. People who, black people are a lot more fit than I am and know a hell of a lot more about nutrition than I do. I don't understand that at all. Making it sound like people are like, I just don't want to go to the gym when actually... There are millions of Americans that have food insecurity. People can't what even the afford food. Is it food and what happens insecurity? For they can't afford food, so they're fat. Is that what she's saying? They can't afford food, so they're fat. It is cheaper, and I tell you, I've proven this. It is cheaper to eat well than to eat poorly. My mother proved that. We grew up with nothing, but my mother put food on the table. Like we ate well. We ate vegetables. We ate stuff like this growing up because. You know, we didn't have a lot, and and it it was cheaper. It was cheaper for my mother to go out and buy a chicken, buy vegetables, and all that stuff, than to go to KFC and get a bucket. You know, you know what it costs to get a bucket of chicken at KFC and all this stuff. This is ridiculous. I love this argument. A lot of these people is they end up over consuming because they don't know where their next meal is coming from. How condescending! They don't know when they're where their next. Who in America is like that? Who? They're fat because they don't know. If you're fat, that 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 uh, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. I'm fat, so I don't know where my neck, so I'm going to keep eating. This woman is delusional, and she she's one of those skinny people who's giving fat people a ride here. Yeah. 
but that doesn't matter, right? They just don't want to go to the gym. But it's not about going to the gym. Let me tell you something. You I don't lost even need to go to the gym. The first 80 pounds I lost was just through diet. I went for walks. That's all you have to do. You can walk. Is she saying that black people can't walk? <laughs> there's also there's public parks. There, right. There's, there's a, there. a whole myriad of things that you can do that, that don't require you going to a I gym and getting gym. a gym. I don't have a gym membership. But it's also really funny to me that she actually thinks that this is all about looks and this is all about just wanting to feel attractive and desirable. No. Now, she more than likely is projecting her own internal needs and her own internal desires. But that is actually I think not you're a what racist. the fat acceptance movement is about. Now, I myself am not fat, uh -huh. but I follow a lot of fat activists and I can say for fat certain. Fat activists. <laughs> well, then you fire, follow a lot of people who are willing to let people die for their wants, needs, and desires. Talk about internalizing bullshit right there, right? They're internalizing it and they're fat activists who are telling people you should die for being fat to make me feel better about myself. That you should accept your fatness because I don't want you challenging the way I live and the way I eat and the fact that I'm killing myself with food. This woman is a bigger part of the problem than the fat people who are justifying their shit. That they don't give a sh she's an enabler they're attractive mm -hmm. actually the reason the body positivity movement was even started in Why? the first place Tell was me. to actually demand access to health care what but you're telling me if you're if you're healthy at any size why would these fat people be demanding access to health care how does that make any sense at all what do you need the health care for if you're healthy at any size that's ridiculous. Fat people are not treated like they are less than in society. They're actually just asking for really basic things. Like? <laughs> this is like, I'm an alcoholic. You got to take care. Give me a new liver. <laughs> it's insanity. Alcoholics need livers too. Job opportunities <laughs> not to be discriminated against because of their weight. Eh, eh. I should be able to show up to a, 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 a job interview with blood trickling down my arm from the heroin. You see, and I know people are like, oh, it's not the same thing. It is exactly the same thing. That's the point. It's exactly the same thing. And people like this want to enable that activity and say it's not, but it is exactly the same thing. Now, I don't believe anybody should be discriminated against, but, but to say, like, look, this person's going to have a harder time because it's a fact that when you're overweight, you're going to get sick more often, right? You're going to take more time off of work, right? It, it, it just happens that way. I, I, it's statistics. It's, it's all you're going to look at. And when people look at, at people who are overweight, they say this is a person who, ha who lacks control in their life. It, it, it's evident. If you came into a job interview smelling of liquor, it would be the same thing to me. It's the same exact thing. And I know this from personal experience. I couldn't do the same things on the job that thinner people could do, that people who were in shape could do. I couldn't do it. I had a hard time. I climbed telephone poles for a living, and it was difficult. And why? Well, because I had bad knees. My knees hurt. My back hurt. I had more time off of work because my back was bad. All of this shit that happened to me. And why? It was directly related to my weight. This woman's delusional. Absolutely delusional. And healthcare. And the thing is that people like this think they're helping. They're enabling. This is an enabler. It's okay. It's okay. Right. But again, admitting that would be really hard for people like Candace because that means they have to admit that they didn't do anything special to be in the position that they're in right now. And also, I'm really curious why Candace Owens is always bringing up Lena Dunham. She's always using her in her examples, that. which is I don't I don't really I don't follow Candace Owens, so I don't really know about this. I, this woman just really seems to have a hard on for for Candace Owens, but mm -hmm. you know I, I can only talk to the fat stuff. I don't I don't know about the other stuff. Really funny because Lena Dunham has been very public about having PCOS and and what's what's P I don't know what that means. PCOS. Endometriosis, which actually makes it very hard for you uh -huh. to actually lose weight. Yeah. And again, polycystic uh, ovary syndrome. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm sure nobody in fourth and fifth world countries has that, you know? And how do I know? Because there's no fat people there. Those are people who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Go to Bangladesh and, and, and ask them about thyroid and glandular problems. <laughs> it just seems like those people don't really suffer from it like we do here in America. For her, it comes right back down to all lives matter. Unless uh -huh. you're fat. And That's not true. That's not true. I think your life does matter. And that, that that's why I want to help you with this. Right? Your life does matter.
and that you can do something about it. People like this are willing to give you a pass. Say, there's nothing you can do about it. You're fat and it's okay. I accept you. Uh-huh. I wonder if she, if she dates fat guys. That would be interesting. I, I wonder if she dates fat guys. Yeah. Something tells me this woman dates a six foot two, you know, thin. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, if Candace Owens doesn't want to date you, then no one wants to date you. Reasons why I, a fat person, never want to go to a gym again, part 12. Part 12? <laughs> For context, I was on the elliptical, and yes, I did have headphones in, uh -huh. although I could steer, still kind of hear what was going on. Uh -huh. Hey, so, I mean, it looks like all of the treadmills are taken right now. Should we just use one of the ellipticals? Only fat people use ellipticals because they're huh. too fat to use treadmills. Oh. Well, who would say so something don't like use that? anything at all? Right. And what do you care what these people say? For people who don't care what people think, these people really seem to care what people think. You're there, you're doing your thing. And I understand that. I'm not a big gym fan either for many of the same reasons. I'm not a gym rat. And, and, and yeah, I can understand how that makes you feel uncomfortable. But why do you feel uncomfortable? Not because your body positivity or because, because you feel uncomfortable. You know, you know, you don't feel comfortable in, in, in your body. Right? Otherwise, you wouldn't give a shit what these people think. I mean, look. I mean. I don't blame you. Nobody should be made to feel uncomfortable like that. You're doing what you can to. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess we can just wait for a treadmill to open up then. Yeah. Well, that's their business, yeah, right? Exactly. And who would say shit like that anyway? Only an ah, Only an ah, would sit there. Only fat people use ellipticals. Yeah, well, first of all, that's just ridiculous. I, a lot of people use ellipticals, right? It would be an imaginary but, And that's situation. it, too, because this is what she wanted to hear, right? This is all she keyed in on. The two people out of all the people that came into the gym, two idiots. In fact, just one idiot, the, the one person who said it, and the other one's like, well, maybe you're right. I don't know. I guess I'll wait for the treadmill to open, right, who didn't say anything. So it was really one person, one person. Body positivity, though, she feels good about being fat. Should we take a selfie? Here, let's go this way. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, well, I feel for this woman. Yeah. I don't know. Look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's body positivity. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this one. Did you stand there all alone? How can I make myself look like more of a freak? Accept me, God damn it. Yeah, you're ready for a job interview. And, and that's the same thing. That, uh, they, they didn't accept me because of my fat. No, nah, nah, I, I would think it's the, the, uh, the thing that, like, they put those in horses' noses, too, don't they? To pull or them. Bowl like the, or yeah. something. This is ridiculous. Why can't I get a job? What? Things I want skinny people to stop doing as a fat person. Saying, I'm so fat, I feel fat, especially around actual fat people. Well, so now this person's going to decide who's fat enough and who isn't. Buying all plus size clothing in stores through shops to get oversized clothes. Oh, those skinny mother. Buying fat clothes. I, I, is that a thing? Inserting themselves in fat conversations. I don't even know what that means either. Taking fat positivity as a personal attack. Comparing systemic fat phobia and medical abuse to rude comments about skinny people. Medical abuse, right? They're abusing you. Because they say you need to lose weight. That's abuse. You're an alcoholic. You need to stop drinking. How dare you? How dare you? I cannot explain what it's just a shame. I, can see you standing I feel for this person. This is a PSA uh -huh. for the skinnies. Skinnies. Now, is that not the same as me saying the fatties? To say the skinnies, calling people out for being thin? Isn't that just as, as wrong? As, as, as calling somebody out for being fat? For the skinny. Skinny. Listen to that. Skinny. So anybody skinny is a in this woman's eyes. But she's going to school you on how to be a decent human being and, and, and not fat phobic. Ah, okay. If when you're shopping, uh -huh. you take your size small uh -huh. and medium and uh -huh. go put it in the plus size uh -huh. to hide it and save it for yourself for later, uh -huh. you that's can... a good idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There's a good life hack right there. I never thought of that. These fat will never buy this. Holy yeah. shit. I never yeah. thought of that.
But can't fat people do the same thing? Yeah. Take the X, 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 L and hide it in the smalls and the mediums? It's going to be harder to hide. Yeah. <laughs> Got these big bloomers. Like, honestly, it's so freaking rude. I don't why think you guys. Why is it rude? Now, I, I, and I would like this. Why is that rude? What, rude? Why? Have no idea, like, how slim pickings we already have as, like, fat and plus size people. What does she people. mean by slim? Oh, what? So, what? They see it on the rack and they say. Slim they pickings? Say, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? You mean fat pickings. So they have fat pickings and you have slim pickings. I think that's ironic, don't you? I think it's funny, uh, her perspective on it, because a lot of people are just slobs and they don't give a shit. Like, they don't want the shirt anymore and they just so happen to be right. in another section and Hang they just it put exactly. it back. And, yeah. and you think of yeah. it like, how dare they? Yeah. It's a personal attack on me. Yeah. Is it like, oh, look at the designs they have for thin people. They don't have this for us. Like That too. Yeah, because you shouldn't wear vertical stripes when you're that big, I guess, you know? <laughs> so the girl that was in the, in the thing before, she was dressed as a cow. Now, come on. That's a woman Literally. who's embracing it. She's embracing it. You're not embracing it. You're upset. This pisses you off. And you see, this woman is attractive, too. She's a yeah, very attractive woman. It just, it's the personality. Yeah, yeah. She's bitter and angry. It's she, the she eyes. Needs some Wendy's. She's got the crazy eyes. <laughs> yeah, she does. You can see it with those fake lashes. Here's, here's another thing I love too. She's talking about looks and everything. And all these all these women are wearing makeup. Well, why? Why can't, can't you accept your face the way it is? What do you need makeup for? What does she need these these huge fake eyelashes for to make her face look smaller? Like what what's that all about? You know, what's with all the nose rings and the piercings, which I'm I'm for, you know, I got tattoos, I got tattoos all over. Listen, that's fine. You're expressing yourself. But you're saying that looks aren't important. Why why are you wearing makeup? For what? To be more attractive. Well, are you saying people who don't wear makeup aren't attractive enough? Like, are you a makeup phobe? <laughs> like, you know, no. All we can pick is ugly animal print and floral patterns. She wears that, a that, floral dress. What she's wearing a floral dress. Yeah, I like that. She's like pissed that. at that dress. But what she should do then is design some clothes. Become a fashion designer. Yeah. There you go. Become a fashion designer. You just answer. You it, Look, there's a multi-million dollar industry for you, right? What's the, one of the Kardashian girls. Isn't she like in fashion or something like yeah, that? I think she all made, of them are. Yeah, but one of them made like a ton of money being a fashion designer or a makeup person or something. Yeah, something like one, one recently was a self-made billionaire. Yeah. Meanwhile, she's this like the second generation. <laughs> right. Yeah. My daddy was a big lawyer in Beverly Hills, but I did it all on my own. Oh, that, that wasn't even her dad. Oh, her, so she, her wasn't dad Car- is, she wasn't a car dad. Oh, she's Bruce. a Jenner. Bruce. She's the Jenner. Kylie. <laughs> the woman formerly known as Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, no mental health issues in that family either. Yeah. But here you go. So so design clothes. You're not happy with the floral prints and, and the animal print. I don't blame you. Like, again, we go back to the cow. I you agree. Know. Once you redirect that energy into something right. positive and something that could change well, and maybe help she's you. She's afraid, though, that if she does that, she'll make a lot of money. She can afford the gym that the other chick was saying she can't afford. She'll get the personal trainer. She'll lose all the weight and won't be able to wear her own clothes. I don't know. What you is this? traitor. She's like, this is why I can't do this. This is, uh, we're going to do one. I want to do a, a thing on excuses, right? I, this a, a thousand excuses of why my life is not my fault. And this is what she's, this is, her life is not her fault. She's not fat. It's not her fault. That's another thing. It's never anybody's fault. None of this shit is, it's not my fault. It's society that doesn't accept me. That's why it's, it's like this. No, 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 no. This is, you know why you're fat? I'm going to tell you why you're fat. It's not glandular. The other one says, oh, she's got PCS, uh, PSOS or whatever the, whatever she was saying. You're fat because you take bad food, eh? you put it in your mouth, you eat it, you do that way too much, and you exercise way too little, right? Now, if you turn that around and you take good food and eat it in moderate amounts and exercise, you won't be as fat. I guarantee you. I don't give a f*** about your glandular problems. I don't give a f*** about your ovary problem. Oh, we got to f- no. We're not supposed to do that, right? We're, I don't well, we're way past that. We're, right. we're deep into this. This is ocean. a good one. I like this. This is going well. But you can do something. Again, she's a very attractive woman. Uh, you know, look, it, it, 
she's just very bitter and you can hear it in what she does. And I can see it. She's trying to do things to, to, to negate the weight. I think like she's, she's colored her hair. She's got the makeup on. She's got the piercings. All of these things tell me she does care about how she looks. And it's funny that all of these people seem to do this. They say they don't care about how they look, that their, their body positivity and all that. Mm -hmm. Yet they do all these things to change their looks. That's the shit we have to pick from. All right. So when you put a really cute item and we're like right. so... A really cute item, right? She feels bad because she can't fit into that. Real That's what she's saying. I feel bad because I can't fit. And you're putting it right in my face that I can't fit into this really cute item. And for that, you're a piece of shit. So don't hide your shit where I, because I can't have that. You can if you work at it. Right. There's another incentive. Yeah. Another incentive. If your health wasn't enough, yeah. Another incentive to lose the weight, to take care of yourself. And it is not about being thin. It is about taking care of yourself and being healthy. And just one more benefit of that is being able to wear nicer clothes. She's this is her whole video is about why I can't I can't wear nice clothes that all I have are these stupid floral prints and animal prints. Right which I don't believe anyway. I've seen this big plus size thing that you could get all kinds of designers, you know, which is still out of price for, for people who don't have money. So we can do, in the, they should do videos about poor people who, who don't, don't show me Gucci on TV. Cause I can't afford it. And it triggers me. It's, it's ridiculous. The same argument. Yeah, it is. It's, it's exactly it. Stoked about it. You pull the freaking item out and then you realize, Oh, this is a XS. You have no idea how uh, deceiving that is. Uh, so please, on behalf of all the fat, fat. <laughs> okay. who want to wear cute shit but can't, don't put your there. Oh. Oh.